and welcome to Talking FC and welcome back here to the channel guys to the final match review of 2019 and Barcelona thankfully have ended the year here in some style it was a very comfortable victory in the majority of that game there it's Barcelona 4 Alaves 1 with Messi Suarez and Griezmann all on the score sheet and guess what I actually got the score prediction correct and on that note Let's get into it. And we have to start, first of all, by discussing some of the changes that Ernesto Valverde brought to today's lineup coming into this game. It was Mark Ronnie, Ter Stegen in goal, Jordi Alba at left back, then Sam Willem Tutti came into the centre of the defence there to replace Clement Longley, which I thought there was a pretty good change. Pique and Roberto completed the back four, with Busquets returning in midfield, Carlos Alenia starting the game and playing 90 minutes, with Arturo Vidal there, the other side of him, and the attack, as we expected, Griezmann, Suarez and Lionel Messi. And I've got to say, over the majority of this game, it was good from Barcelona, particularly there in the midfield. I did like the dynamics that we had in midfield. I think Busquets was very, very good, which is interesting. The fact that he produced here a very good display, of course, after he wasn't playing in El Clasico. I think Carlos Alenia, as we're going to come on to right throughout this video, was a breath of fresh air in that midfield, especially when you saw what we did against Real Madrid, where we couldn't really play through them. We couldn't get out of trouble. I know this game was an easier one. I know that we were on a significant less pressure here against Alaves, but Alenia was still good for me. And Arturo Vidal, very much involved there in combining with the front three. He got himself a goal. He was always involved. And I think there, it was a good team, a decent lineup, and Barcelona against Alaves, as we expected, got the job done. And on the anniversary, of course, of Barcelona's famous 2009 season, the treble winning season, combined, of course, then with the sextuple, we were treated at the camp now today with several of those members of that team that played in that. And they were sort of conversing there before the kickoff with many of the current Barcelona players. And Carlos Puyol there in attendance, of course, he was there giving Lionel Messi the La Liga Player of the Month award. And certainly Barcelona started the game in a very good manner. Like I say, that midfield was very, very good. The front three were very much involved right from the word go and it only took about 10 minutes or so really for Messi to be picking the ball up there in between the lines. Vidal was making very advanced runs, Suarez and Griezmann were quite central and Messi there was playing more of a playmaker role in that first half and he actually scored but it was ruled out. It was a ball there, fantastic pass from Sergio Busquets in behind. Messi takes it out the air brilliantly, puts it past the goalkeeper but it was ruled out for offside but on the replay there, even though that was checked by VAR, it looked to be on. It wasn't overturned but he did look pretty harshly given there in an offside position. But luckily for us, that didn't matter because just moments later, it was time there for the first goal. And as you can see here, it's some really good movement. Arturo Vidal starts the move. It's Suarez there who's running into the channels. That's interesting there because you can see Griezmann who's moving there into a central position. And it's Suarez this time who's making the run out wide. And I think we've seen that dynamic change in recent weeks whereby Suarez now is a bit more mobile. Griezmann will come a bit more central and as a result of that Suarez has to be on the move he goes out to the right gets the ball there Griezmann makes a great run and the sign of a confident player is taking that ball on first time it's a good ball into him he takes it on first time drills it there into the bottom right hand corner wonderful goal Barca have the lead and I was actually really, really impressed with Griezmann right throughout this game. He did admit after the game that he was getting a little bit tired towards the end there. He said after El Clasico, we were all starting to get a little bit leggy at the end of the game. Very quick turnaround, of course, to come into this game on the Saturday afternoon. But Griezmann and Messi throughout, and Suarez as well, the combination play was really, really promising. And I think Griezmann is really growing into this role at Barcelona. He's really understanding now where he needs to be and how he can combine best with his teammates. And one of the best moments in the game for me of course, there were some brilliant goals that we are going to come on to. But it was actually a moment there whereby Barcelona were really on the counter-attack. I think it was an Alaves corner and it was played out there into Antoine Griezmann, into Messi, and they broke with electric speed. It was absolutely frightening there, the way that Messi picked up the ball. 1-2 there with Antoine Griezmann. Griezmann then carries the ball, lightning quick, like I say, really cutting apart Alaves there on the break. And it's a little back heel then into the path of Messi, who gets the ball back. And it's so, so close there to being a wonderful goal. But I just think we saw once again in this game, signs there, these combinations, they're really coming now. I think in 2020, we are going to see Griezmann become a more and more and more crucial part of this team. 
he's looking good. And that's where the second goal did start from, that little combination play between Messi, who plays it into Griezmann. And then all the time now, Griezmann is looking for that return pass. He's understanding where Messi's going to be. He plays it back into him there. And you can see there, Griezmann, Suarez, Messi, all very central, giving the defenders a number of problems. They don't really know where to turn. And when you have that quality there, all nice and narrow, look at Arturo Vidal. He's just finding the space there. He's just moving away from the defenders. He gets it nicely. Suarez turns, plays it into his path, and it's a great finish there from Arturo across the goalkeeper. And he's been in good goal scoring form this season. Fair play to him, Arturo Vidal. But then, just as it looked really comfortable for Barcelona, we went in at halftime. It looked really good. We looked like we were going to go on and coast through this game. In the second half, then, we had a bit of a wobble. And again, you're asking questions of this team when they're put under pressure, when they really come up against it, when teams do turn it on and turn up that intensity. Can we deal with it? Because we did have a wobble in the game. We did certainly drop off. Alaves were putting pressure on us. The camp now was getting nervous. And Alaves did get back in the game there. It's an easy, straightforward cross into the area. It's a very deep ball to the edge of the box. Carlos Alenia there probably should pick up his man. A lot of people there targeting Alenia as the cause of this goal. But I'd also look there for Jordi Alba, who I think could probably react a little bit sooner than he does. But either way, the ball is played in. Nobody tracks the run. It's a free header there on the edge of the box. And Barry Pons puts it into the back of the net to get Alaves back on track. And I said it on Twitter. This for me, the third goal then from Barcelona, when we were under all of that pressure, when we were starting there to wobble in the game, who would you look to to get us out of trouble and ultimately rescue Barcelona under Ernesto Valverde? Of course, it's Lionel Messi. It's Lionel Messi doing something absolutely ridiculous. And that's what he does here. This was absolutely wonderful from Lionel Messi. And it started there by Carlos Chalina. He plays it between the lines. He's looking forward. He's looking there to start a move, to be proactive. He plays it into the path of Suarez, who just nips it round the corner there to Lionel Messi. Good little bit of play there by Suarez, who was on his game today. No question about that. Into Messi, who runs away there. And look at that. There's nothing on. There's no danger there. Alaves have shut down the angles. There's about six players there surrounding Lionel Messi, but still he finds the top corner. How is that possible? How could anybody do that? Running at full pelt, surrounded by players. You've got pretty much no backlift on that shot, but he just caresses it. Wonderful strike. Top, top quality. Goalkeeper's no chance. It is a stunning, stunning goal for Messi. What a way to end a sensational year for him. And of course, Suarez had three assists in the game in total, but his good friend Lionel Messi was not going to let him end the game without a goal. And of course, a penalty there was given, courtesy there, a VAR. It was a handball that was probably slightly harsh in the way that Suarez headed it down very, very close there to the defender's arm, but it was given. Messi there hands over the penalty kick and Suarez dispatches it there really comfortably. And to be fair, Suarez probably did deserve a goal today for the work that he did on and off the ball. Three assists and a goal today for Suarez and four goals for FC Barcelona. And just like I said really in the match preview guys, I'm just happy here we got the win. We got a few goals MSG all on the scoreline. That's a good thing. But obviously it doesn't exactly tell us a great deal. Just beating Alaves today doesn't mean that we're going to go on and win the Champions League. What it does mean is we picked up another three points. We are guaranteed now to finish level on points if Real Madrid win tomorrow against Athletic Club. But we are going to be there at the top of the league and and that's what's important right now. But of course, in 2020, we've got to take strides. We've got to kick on. We have to improve. We all know that. And we still have to wait and see whether Barcelona are going to produce when it really, really matters. What I would like to say today, though, is Carlos Sardinia. Very, very impressed with what I saw from him. He's a different type of midfielder. And the thing is, it's not just that he's a different type. He's the type we need. That's the big point here. He's not just somebody who's going to bring something different to this team. But he brings the characteristics that if we want to play, the kind of football that we all do. You need somebody like him. You need those kind of characteristics in and around the Barcelona team. And there's no question about it. He deserves more minutes. And here's to hoping that we can keep him around beyond the January transfer window. Please leave your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. What did you think today from Barcelona? What did you make there of the overall performance? And of course, individually, what did you make there of the likes of Carlos Chalena? And of course, the goals that we saw. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. That'll be it now for 2019 from Barcelona. In two weeks' time, they will return, and we do return away at Espanyol. That should be a good one. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But of course, guys, on the channel here, I'm not going anywhere. Over the Christmas period, there will be a number of uploads from me. I hope you'll come back and join me for that. Thank you 
for all of your support this year. Barca, end with a win. Messi, Suarez and Griezmann, providing it. I'll see you soon, but until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca. 